and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, today I'm going to be doing a story time and a car tour in one video. Um, if you guys didn't know, for the past two weeks we had been car hunting and it was quite a stressful process. And I really want to talk to you guys about it because I feel like a lot of people do car tours but they don't tell you the work that goes into finding a good car. Um, so we'll start at the beginning, the first time we went to a car dealership. Um, the first car dealership we went to is Hyundai. And this is in no way um, saying anything bad against Hyundai, it was just my experience at the one that I live close to. So, anyways, so Hyundai, um, the first time we went I had an amazing salesman, he was great, he listened to all our wants and needs. I felt comfortable and I felt like he wasn't upselling me or anything like that to make a commission. He really cared about the products that he was selling and who he was selling to. Um, because we are very family oriented because it's me, Jacob and Maddie. So we are a family. We need a family car, one that will get us around, one that's safe. Um, and we told him that we preferably wanted an SUV. And he found an SUV in our price range. I mean, we would have had to finance it, but only by like a thousand, two, maybe two thousand um, dollars. So we could have taken that home and been perfectly fine. And it was a 2004 Hyundai Santa Fe. So um, it was a little bit older, but it was a nice, solid car, and um, there was very low mileage. I think it was like 90,000 miles for a 2004, which is amazing. You don't see that anywhere. So, that is basically one of the things that we saw that we would really like. So anyways, he was the kind of guy where like if you test drive it, you have to come back to get it so you're not making an irrational decision. Um, and so I really appreciated that because he wasn't trying to sell me it the same day. Which buying a car, you shouldn't buy it the first time you see it. So... That's something that I really appreciated and showed me that he wasn't just a salesman, but he actually cared about his customers. So, anyways, we leave and we're just praying that this car stays. And the next couple of days, I check online to make sure it's still in the inventory. And then one day, I just see that it's gone. This car was probably $4,300, so it wasn't a bad price. It was in our range, and we could have gotten it. Um, point blank. So I was really upset when I saw that it was gone because it was like this car. So this car would have been perfect. Everything about it was awesome and we wanted it. So anyways, fast forward about a week later we went back to the dealership. I had talked to the salesman earlier in the day and he said he was going to be there and then when we showed up at the scheduled time he called out sick and didn't call us. So that was one of the things that like I'm kind of upset about because it was like I really wanted you to be my salesman. I didn't want to go to anyone else. But anyways we were already there. We didn't want to come back again another day. So we decided to go with a different salesman and this salesman didn't listen to any of our wants or needs. He kept upselling us. We started at an $8,000 car because obviously the other car was sold so there wasn't much we could do. We started an $8,000 car. He wanted us to make $300 payments on that car and I was like, listen, the most that I want to do is $100 a month. I will do a down payment, but I can only do $100 a month. There's no way that I'm doing $300 payments on top of $300 car insurance. It's just not happening. And so we just kept going back and forth and he just kept trying to upsell me and upsell me and then finally um, we went from a 2009 to like a 2015 Hyundai, Sun Hyundai Sonata I believe and I like, I mean I like the car and everything but it just wasn't what I wanted. Um, there was a 2009 Hyundai Santa Fe that we drove and I liked that one a lot. But again, the payments were really steep. And then he kept saying, oh, well, if you get a car that's under 10 years old, um, it's very hard to finance, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, well, then find me a decent car that's over 10 years old that isn't an arm and a leg. Show me a car like that, and I will pay for it, like, obviously. 
So anyways, as the night goes on, he just keeps trying to upsell me. He went from like a 2009 to like a 2015 with huge price differences. Um, I believe the 2015 was like $13,000. It was ridiculous. So <clears throat> we ended up leaving that place with a $261 payment um, plan. But we did not get the car. We were like, yeah, we're going to think about it overnight and we'll let you know. Anyway, so the next day they text us and we just ignore the text because there's no way we're paying $261. So that was a terrible experience. It was a waste of four hours. Hated it. So anyways, fast forward to a week later. We go to a Toyota dealership, which I know in my last video I said I do not want a car. I want an SUV. But, you know, not everything works out in your favor. Um, we tried a couple of different cars at this dealership. We went in originally for a car we were going to buy outright. It was about $3,200, and then the walk out the door was, like, about $3,700. Um, so we could have paid for it and left, which is what I wanted to do originally. Because I was, like, we, after thinking about that $261 payment, we were, like, we can't do payments. Like, this is going to be too stressful. We won't have any money left over for play. It's going to be a lot of bills on top of a car payment. So, we figured out what we can and can't do um, over that week of time. And we thought that we could go in and buy this car. So, anyways, as we're walking in, um, our salesman tells us that they put the car in to the shop at 7 a.m. that morning and we got there at like 9.30, keep in mind, at 7 a.m. and they found a problem with the transmission. So they are not going to sell it anymore. It's not up to their standards. Which I was devastated because it's like, this is a car we could have bought outright. And so then I have the guy um, look for another car that's comparable in price and a comparable car. And he found us a 1999 um, Chevrolet Tracker, I believe it is. It's an SUV. And we drove all over there because we were, we were at a Toyota dealership, but it was at a Chevrolet dealership. Uh, but they're connected uh, by AutoNation, if that makes any sense. So that's basically what happened. We ended up driving over there, which was over a highway. And we got in the car and this car was creaky as hell let me tell you like I did not feel safe in this car but anyways we went in the car I turned the car on it made a couple of funky noises it didn't turn on like how the sound wasn't like good basically is what I'm trying to say so I pull out of the parking lot the dealership parking lot and turn onto the highway and as I'm on the highway I was pressing the gas all the way down nothing happened like I'm not kidding it was scary so yeah luckily we were in the turn lane to turn off the highway so I wasn't like with a million cars next to me or behind me trying to pass me or anything thank god but anyways I looked at the dealer and I was like okay get me out of this car I'm not buying it nobody should buy this you need to go in there and tell them that this car is not usable because there's no way in hell somebody's going to buy a car that you can't even put gas or you can't even press the gas down. So he agreed with me. He was like, yeah, this car is completely unsafe. I'm going to go in and talk to them. And then um, you go warm up the Toyota because we took a Toyota over, which is a used car as well. And as I'm sitting in that Toyota, I was like, oh my God, I really miss my Toyota. Um, which if you guys didn't know, I had a 2003 Toyota Camry. And I got into a car accident like two years ago now, and <sighs> but yeah, so it basically got totaled, which kind of sucked, but whatever it happens. And then ever since then, I never got another car until now. And so, anyways, I'm messing with this Toyota, and I'm just like, I love this. Like, this is the kind of car I want again. And so we test drove about three different Toyotas. Um, we test drove a 2006, which is the one that we drove over, a 2008, and then the 2010 Toy Toyota Corolla. And the other three were Camrys, or two were Camrys. So, 
We ended up going with the 2010 Toyota Corolla. We do have $199 down payment, or not down payment, but monthly payments that we have to make. However, we did find a loophole to actually be able to make the $199 payments with being able to survive um, in a happy way, basically. We are getting $500 off this month and next month's rent. Um, so with that being said, we'll have $1,000 saved and we're going to take $99 payments out of that every month for the car payment and then pay the 100 out of our paychecks. So that it ends up being $199. Um, and we just thought this was the easiest way to do it just because um, it just makes sense for us as a family to get a safe, reliable car and all that fun stuff. Um, and we just, we needed it. We were tired of looking because this process took a little over two weeks to actually find a car that we liked. And we're moving on Friday and we just got this car Saturday. So, yeah. Um, needless to say, we needed a car. But, yeah, so we're very happy with it. Needless to say, we are very happy. So let's go and show you the car. It's not going to be an in-depth car tour. It's just going to be a quick one. Um... But if you guys want a more in-depth in the future, let me know. I am going to go over some of the basics of the car and all that, so don't worry about that. But, yeah. So, I, I might do an update once we actually start putting stuff in it, maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. Who knows. But, yeah. So, let's go check it out. Okay, so this is what the car looks like from the front. Okay, so now I'm going to open it. The doors, just to be safe. Okay, let me just brighten this up. Okay, so on the door over here, I'm actually going to open it so that you guys have a little bit of light. I don't know why, it's not focusing. Okay, anyway, so you have the window switches just to turn the windows up and down. You have the lock switch, and then you have the window lock for the back seats. And then in here you have the cup holder and a little pocket, as well as another little pocket. And then another favorite of this car is there's like this little compartment that you can keep coins in. So that's going to be really handy when going to the beach or anything like that. And then obviously you have the footrest, um, the gas, and the brake. Okay, and then once you're actually in the car, you have the steering wheel, which also you have the RPM, the temperature of the engine, the speedometer, and the gas. And then as well, you have the, um, what's it called, window water. I don't know what to call it. Let's turn the car on. Ooh, that sounds so nice. Um, also, the headlights come on automatically. That's just something that happens. But yeah, the color of this is orange. Like, that's what everything lights up to be is orange. Um, so yeah, even if you, like, turn the headlights off, the headlights stay on. I guess it's an automatic thing for a 2010. But yeah. So, like I said, you have the temperature gauge for the engine. You have the RPM, um, and then this is the speedometer or the mile, MPH, and then also you have the um, miles that the car has been driven. I got this car with 102,020 miles, and now there's 102,076 miles. So we have drove it quite a bit, and then also they filled up the tank of the gas, which was really nice. Um, and then up here you have the two air vents and also you have an air vent over here and I think that's another one for like defrosting um but this is like my favorite part of the car I don't know it just looks so sleek to have this middle console um anyway so you have the radio if it'll ever focus don't know um but you have the power button no it's okay Please don't go. 
Anyways, so yeah, that's the stereo. It sounds really good. There are six speakers all overall in this car, and they're all amazing. Also, this car gets 26 miles per gallon city and 30 miles per gallon highway, so it's really good gas mileage. Um, and then here, just like the different things you can do, there is an aux port. Just put the aux cord into there. So that's pretty nice. Uh, there's no USB ports or anything in this car, which kind of sucks, but it's whatever. Um, and then you have the different settings. You can put the AC on, the temperature range if you want it on 1, 2, 3, or 4. And then also if you want it on AC or heat. And then there's also the hazard lights. Um, and then here's where it tells the um, time. And here is the... What's it called? I don't know, shift gear or gear shift, I don't know, whatever. And then there's also a cup holder. And I'm going to turn these lights on so you guys can see a little. Um, but here is just extra storage, which I really like. Um, there's nothing that's in that one. But underneath is where we keep our driver's manual as well as our license or our registration for the car and then we also have a bb and t folder because we recently went to bb and t to open up a joint savings account because we already have a joint checking so i really wanted these savings to be separate um and then also there's another cup holder and blah 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 you know same stuff that the other side has and then back here we have maddie's car seat and then a blanket underneath because she makes a mess um, and then it's basically the same stuff for the doors. But yeah, so that's basically it for the car tour. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this car tour. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also, I do have moving vlogs coming. I've already filmed a couple. I filmed me packing. Um, and then we're also going to film all of the fun stuff that's going to be happening this weekend for the vlog. So stay tuned for that. It'll probably go up next Thursday. Don't quote me on it, but that's what I'm thinking it'll go up. Um, but yeah, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you guys in next Thursday's video. Bye, everyone.